y'all, hey y'all, hey, it's Reese, y'all already know, welcome back to what? A quick little video. So y'all, 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 I'm back at it again, and y'all already know in these YouTube streets I've been missing, and there has definitely been some bullshit brewing and coming down, all right? So your girl is back to goddamn talk about it and laugh about it. Y'all already know how I do. Y'all already know y'all know me by now, okay? Y'all already know that when I step back into the scene, Y'all gonna have some laughs, but anyway, let's go ahead and break this down, okay? So, a uh, last video, I had already said that, you know, Liv the Stallion, all right. Liv the Stallion, she ain't in Texas no more. Liv the Stallion has left, okay? And she is back in Florida, all right? Now, y'all, 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 this is the thing, okay? This video is really gonna be to Gerard, all right? Gerard. <laughs> Nisha, uh-huh, Gerard and Nisha. <laughs> I bet you y'all glad, y'all ass is glad that Liv is back from, back to where she came from. <laughs> Gerard, I know, Gerard, I bet you right now, you and Nisha, y'all probably had some type of party. Y'all probably was like, look, I already know. Here go Gerard, here go Nisha, here go Gerard. Guess what, baby? What, Gerard? She is back in Florida. Oh, my God. She back in Florida, baby. You know it. We ain't even having no Super Bowl parties. We need to have a party because this bitch is gone. I'm for whatever. You already know. I am for whatever. Y'all just heard that shit? Yeah. Yeah. But Gerard, let me tell you right now, you may be happy that she is back in Florida. But what I am going to tell you, Gerard, look, listen, look, listen, listen, is that you better go ahead and get yourself some coins and get it saved up because she is getting ready to pull some bullshit on you. Now, Gerard, you already know that Brandon is down there and get me with her, whatever. So that saved you a little bit, you get me? Because you already know that if Brandon was not down there keeping her company, you know Olivia was getting ready to call you on some straight ass bullshit. All right. Now, Brandon, this is the thing. Now, Liv. Now, Gerard, this is the thing. All right, Liv has already gone, okay? And Gerard, you have already said that you're not gonna say anything bad about her, but Gerard, she dragged you through the fucking streets. Not only did she try to drag you through the streets, but she tried to drag your new girlfriend, Nisha, through the streets as well. I already knew that Olivia was not gonna be happy about that situation at all, Gerard. I bet you Olivia never asked Nisha, did she wanna try any of her lashes? <laughs> I bet you she ain't asked Nisha that shit, you get me, okay? Now, once Nisha got that picture that came up on everybody's thumbnails and whatever, Liv was getting ready to go ahead and feel like she was getting ready to end it all. She was smoking about 15 packs of cigarettes, you get me? She drinking all the goddamn crown vol that she can. She over there fucking doing cash apps or whatever because she's saying you ain't giving her no type of child support. You don't do nothing for them kids. All right. So I'm just here today to tell you, Gerard, that if you don't, baby, you better start right now because from Florida, Liv is getting ready to be in that ass. All right. Yes, she is. See, Brandon right now is occupying her. Okay. But see, I don't know if Brandon is down there for good for good because I don't know if he had a job or whatever it is. You get me? But I'm wondering, Gerard, how was it that he was able to go ahead and pick up and drive, you get me, Olivia 2000 and Benz and you know the truck? Because you already know when you drive, that far, Olivia is definitely even going to have to tow the car, you get me, on the back of the U-Haul. That's one. Or she's going to have to have somebody drive behind her with reliable transportation. Because, baby, <laughs> we don't never know when that Benz is just going to conk out. 
okay? And Liv, if you look listening to this video right now, girl, please go get yourself a 2020 or a 21, all right? We don't want to see nothing under a 20, nothing whatsoever. Anything under a 20, we still going to look at you real crazy. Y'all know I'm just fucking with Olivia. I'm just fucking with her. You know, I just, you know. I just always like to get on because, girl, you can't tell Olivia that she ain't in an Ashton Martin or Bentley. You can't tell Olivia she ain't even in a Porsche. All right. I mean, phew. But anyway, getting back on your ass, Gerard. Yeah. So, I mean, I already know you probably had a whole goddamn party with buffalo wings, all different types of flavors, French fries. I could see it, you know, nachos, all types of different tacos. You give me some beer, some good old crown roll, some Patron, all of that type of shit, Gerard. I already know. You probably, when you knew that she was gone, Gerard, you probably took all of your clothes off and started running around the house naked. I already know Nisha was like on the phone, like, girl, he didn't, he took all his clothes off and stuff. And he running around the house naked because that's how much he hate his baby mother. I mean, I ain't never see no dysfunctional shit like this ever, ever. Okay. Only thing that I know is that, you know, she shot the fuck up about me because my cousins and me and, you know, everybody, we just get ready to go over there and snatch them damn butterflies off of her goddamn eyelashes. That's what we was getting ready to do. Okay. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's how she was or whatever. I mean, I'm like, I wonder exactly what Gerard is doing right now. I wonder. So, Gerard, I mean, it's good. Why don't you come on here or let Nisha come on here and say hi to everybody? You know, at least me, because I'm adorable as shit, okay? If you don't know, now you know. I mean, just have her come on here, you know, and just talk and, you know, her experience, you know, things, you know, like that and everything. How it is being, you know, a stepmom. Why is it that she didn't fuck Olivia up real good? I mean, just everything. I, I mean, I'm just wondering, okay, because you never said anything, you know, and not to mention that, um, I already know you know who I am or whatever, because I'm pretty sure Liv has talked about me extensively all life you get me I, I already know that <laughs> but look so I'm Nisha why don't you just come on up here on you know my platform if you want to do a slight little interview or whatever because you know I live the stallion made you look real crazy she basically said, you know, said you was unattractive and her friends didn't know why she was talking to you. And I was confused, Nisha, because Liv don't have no friends. All right. So I didn't know what friends she was talking about. OK. And, look, and, and Nisha, I also want to know, too, um, because that's up in the air. But you definitely sound like that person that was on that actual live. I think the name was Mimi that night that called in and told Liv to take them damn bra um, braids out her hair. They were horrible. I mean, it sound exactly like you. I mean, exactly like you or whatever. And I mean, I just want to know. I really do. I just want to know. I mean, I already know you got the tea of all the reactors that you know what I'm saying and she is obsessed with because she's definitely obsessed with some of us, okay? A lot of them are. They just don't, you know what I'm saying? They just don't want to tell the truth. They just want to, you know, like they say we want to hate them. They just want to hate us. I mean, they really do, especially, you know, me. They, they, because I'm a fool. You get me? And, and I don't really care. They can talk about me or whatever, but you know, I already know where, I'm, where I stand or whatever. So it don't even bother me. I mean, they just be look on camera looking real, real stupid while I'm around this bitch. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Counting my next check. Okay. But anyway, but yeah, Nisha, that's what I'm saying. You, I really think that you should come on here. You should air it out. And being as though it's January and you trying to let everything that was in the old season out, like all of, you know what I mean? All of the um spirits out and, you know, the evils out and you should just come on and say what you gotta say for your new year's resolution all right i mean you know it, it'll be you know what gerard and nisha it would be just like if you had some sage and you was putting sage around your whole entire apartment your car i mean everything okay and that goes for you too nisha it'd be like a sage treatment for you and 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 gerard 
So um, in my about me section, y'all, that's like my email address. If you know you want to go ahead and email me something or, you know, you might not even want to um say anything. You might just want to write me a letter and I go ahead and speak for you. I don't have no problem with doing that. None, none whatsoever. But Gerard, let me go ahead and slide on up out off the hair. You get me? Because I got to get ready for the Super Bowl and all of that. But I just want to go ahead and wish you well. I want to wish you happiness. I want to wish you a great new year. All right. I hope this new year you get everything that you want and more. Okay. Because at this point right now, Gerard, Gerard, you winning. You are winning. <laughs> you are definitely winning. Okay. And also Gerard, I didn't even know how you was going to take it at the fact that she went head on and she, 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 she you know, janked your uh, truck up. Okay, we was sitting here waiting for like, you know, something on Instagram, something, something. We ain't hear nothing. But again, you know, I understand if you don't want to talk about it. But I'm going to see all of you beautiful people in what's the next video later.